Today's children might be the youngest pastors in Africa. They are going about preaching the word of God to everybody that comes their way. Our topic for today is God loves us. And our Bible reading is taken from the book of John 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is where we live. And we need help so that we will be enjoying life. And we are and the things we need is we sometimes we don't even used to eat before going to school. Our areas of feeding, lack of food too. We are also lacking some things. Look at how that inside the room is. We are, we need light and we need television to be watching programs like like pastors program like Dr. Pastor Paul and Nature's program other pastors it is the person that have this place is stressing us too much anytime the child poo poo dear he will carry the sheet on his slippers and rub it on our house so we need a lot of help and even in our school academics we need help because they say they are going to pursue even on Friday they pursue us home about our school fees so that is what we need help for. See what people are going through. Hi, my name is Miracle. I'm nine years old. Hi, my name is Elijah. I'm 11 years old. And we are all children evangelists. How old were you when you started preaching? I was four years old. What led you to start preaching? The Holy Spirit. How did you know that it was the Holy Spirit that led you? Because the Holy Spirit that gives people boldness. Okay, so um, how did you start this group? We started by preaching. Preaching. Okay. Um, when did your brothers join? The time that there were f- five years. Okay, so at first it was only you? Yes, sir. What did your parents say about it? They say it is good. Okay, so you go up, preach to people. What do you tell them? We tell them to repent from their sin. Okay, what else do you tell them? That Jesus Christ is coming again and Jesus died for them. So, have you had any challenge going about your preaching? Have people challenged you? Yes. What did they used to tell you? They said that we used to preach that we should be preaching that people should not be giving us things. Okay, that's... What? I don't understand. Is it? No. Sometimes they used to send us away that we should not preach. Okay, that I should not preach. Why? That you should be in school or what? They said that we are too small. To be preaching? Yes. But did that stop you? No. Why? Because we know Jesus also like what we are doing. Okay. So, um, your mom, is that your mom? Mama, please come. Let's, let's talk to you. So, are you aware that your children are preaching? Yes. He said that he started it when he was four years old. Is that correct? Yes. Are you proud of what they are doing? Yes, I'm very proud of them. Are you a pastor? No. So, I mean, at, at the age of four, I mean, children are supposed to be playing and doing other things. Why would you... How did it all start? Just tell us, how did it all start? I this is uh, I say this, uh, this outreach as their calling. Because the spirit triggered them up and they begin to go one place to another. When I send the market, they will not come back. What happened? They say they are praying for people in the market. And testimonies has been coming like that, like that. So I said to them, they should not be praying every day, but be praying only Saturdays. So Fridays, they pray ahead of Saturday program. And Saturdays, they will go out. Sometimes they will return back with a word of insult. Some mischief them. Some who say they don't want them. Some say they have given their life, but they are still going. You have not stopped. No, 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 no. They are still going. 
what's the worst thing that's happened to them since they started nothing worse that happened to them the greater testimony that they are bringing is that they meet with men and women that matters and then come their way like that okay. Mm. Okay, so um in, what is your plan for these children i hope this is not affecting their school no it is they are doing well in school yes how many kids do you have five are all of them like this no or just these three yes for now now let's talk to you what do you want to be in the future pastor you want to be a pastor okay so who is your mentor not yet have a mentor you don't have, yet, you don't have a mentor yet what do you want to achieve in five years five in five years time what do you want to achieve ministry you want to have a ministry in five years time yes sir is there anything you need right now you want anybody to support you with yes sir what is it we need speaker. We need house. We okay. need light. We need television. Television for what? For watching programs that pastor at. People that have television at. Home. Yes, sir. And what people don't? What else is it in your house that people don't have? Don't have a lot of shoes. Eh? Don't have a lot of shoes. Enough shoes. Yes. So it's only the shoe you are wearing? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have anything to say? Is there anything you need? Yes, sir. What? We need support in academics in our school. We need support in the house. Our house is very tattered. And we need money so that we can treat that my small brother is having a little drop of sickness. What kind of sickness? He's having um, that uh, rashes and cough. How old are you? I'm nine years old. Okay, um, what about is there is there anything you need? There's nothing. Okay. Um, okay, um, <laughs> I don't know if this is okay. Can we go see your place? Is that okay? Are you sure? Okay, okay, let's walk together. This is where we live. And we need help so that we will be enjoying life. And we are, and the things we need is, we sometimes we don't even used to eat before going to school. Our uh, areas of feeding, lack of food too. We are also lacking some things. Look at how that inside the room is. We, are, we need light and we need television to be watching programs like like pastors program, like Doctor Pastor Paul and Nature's program, other pastors etc. And we also need need help. We want to buy a new land because here we are. The person that have this place is stressing us too much. Anytime the child poo poo dear, he will carry the shit on his slippers and rub it on our house. So we need a lot of help. And even in our school academics, we need help because they say they are going to pursue, even on Friday, they pursue us home about our school fees. So that is what we need help for. Going through. <coughs> wait, how much? Wait, put the mic again. Put the mic. How much does it pay for you? In this house, we are not paying anything. Okay, give your mommy the phone. We are not paying for this place, but we are not comfortable because the owner will come. Sometimes Sundays like this, you say we will not go to church. Things that we are seeing here every day. Sometimes you say I will pack them to their their place and their background is a Muslim. Their father is a Muslim. Even in their calling, their father is, is not contributing at all. For that's the sake of that, you say to her with me, if we die, we die. So we are like that. But I say, since we are following Christ, we are following Christ. So it, it, is, it has been like that for years now. Yes. Okay. 
All right, come out. So, what about your father? Their, fa their father did, but the father, the background is a Muslim. Even the name they give to you, Elijah, David, and the rest, they they, are, they give themselves, then they change their name on the altar. Each time they say praise the Lord to give to someone, I hear them call another name. Like this one is Aziz, the senior one. This one is Aziz. This one, they name this one Nuruddin. They name this one. They give, I don't even remember the name. Like the senior girl, they name that one Wasilat. Like that, like that. They give them all Muslim names. But they are not doing the Muslim. They are. They are, we are all Christians. So for that reason, the father will be, even the family, all. Oh, when they saw this one, saw the video of this one on my phone, we are praying for people, people are falling under anointing. The family got angry that so, eh? So even our own blood can pray to that point and pray for people, so we are angry. But it, they are not supporting anything, even feeding our school, and nothing like that. But God is ever faithful. Uh, come, wait in the audience, come, come. Uh, now, now, now they pick and they go say. They pick this, come, come. Sometimes we say, uh, they say some, plenty more than like this, 350. Sometimes we say 500 views and buy food. And this one, I wanted to use this one to do pots. To make pots? Yes. Is Abby make pot? No, I won't carry and go where they make pot, so they make pot for me. Okay, you carry it. Yeah, yes. But this one is for sale. And those bags, well, when in the morning I'll share, give everybody. But you carry bags so they will pick, put inside. Yes. We are so poor. If you see our house, you will cry for us. We don't even have television, we don't have lights. Please, we need your help. You see? I will help you a lot. I know you. you. See, when I will help those pastors and their mother, when I will help them, God will help them too. Yeah, you know them, Abby? I know them well. And they suffer? I swear to God. Thank you. I'm, you see? I'm a Muslim, but I'm Hausa by tribe. Okay. My name is Rulwan Rabulon. Okay. Alright, thank you. How you want me people help? How do you want people to help you? Hey. Because this woman is suffering. To be honest, I could never even hold my tears back. He could not also hold his tears back. The guy holding the camera could not hold his tears back because, I mean, I mean, how would you like people to assist? Uh, in the area of my children's school, I want people to assist me so that I can be paying their school fees. Yes, and uh, the most important that they don't want to use to attack the children is the area of feeding. You know, it's very bad when the child go out for go out and he did not, he did not have he did not eat from the house no how no how you look for somebody that he will beg especially my son told me one thing the other time i say mirak why do you always beg this boy f food at school he said nj because they normally come nj he said because he have never eaten yam and egg sauce before that is why he used to beg that food so i want to be i want to have something to be giving them and uh, so that maybe if anybody at all can assist me so i can be doing a business from that place i will be feeding the children because they are just like off although their father is not dead but they are living as if their father is dead my daughter even told me that they want to do a program of orphans that if they you do not have father again she come and say want to go out i say in oh she should not go out that the father is still alive but nothing to show that the father is alive. Mm, yes. So would you guys like um, like to leave this place? Yes, if we have a better place, uh, we'll leave. But my earnest prayer is not to leave to go and rent a place. Because if we leave go to go and rent a place, I don't know how the people will, will be. Because those children, they normally do service in the compound. So I want place where they will have freedom to be do their service. Each time they want to go out, sometimes miracle will come out and begin to declare this place is the place that all court, you normally come to take uh, their things. But each time they come like this, they meet preaching, they will drop their things and they will, they will, everybody say, I will not take again, they will just go like that. So if we get a better place, 
that will be convenient for us. I, as you can see, you see the way we lie. Sometimes they will lie on this small baby. You can't breathe. The baby will not be able to breathe. Yes, in the night, like that, like that. Throughout the night, I'll be dress now, dress now, stand up, do the day will break. So that is how we have been living. Not one year, not two years, not three years. Not like that, like that. Uh, yes. God, in fact, this woman right now, she needs support. I don't think there's anybody I have featured on my platform that needs support much more than this woman does. This is our sister. We cannot let her continue living this way. I strongly believe that some of you have more than enough. Please, if there's any way we can assist this woman, please, I would like us to assist her. What business do you have in mind to start? I want to rent a shop so that when I'm in that shop, when I return from school, I can be noticing them because I don't normally allow them to place uh, anyhow. Like the reason why they request for that television, I want them to be on, be connected to men of God that is higher than them. As in fact, it's not just television they need. They don't have anything in the house. Nothing. Nothing. So, what business? This is my question. What business would you like to start? I want to show. I want. What business? You don't have any business in mind. Don't worry, I say, what business do you have in mind? I want to rent a shop and uh, fill, fill the shop with goods. Maybe like provision. Okay. You, in fact, you need something even more sustainable than that because of the number of children you have, all of the things that you are lacking. So, you, the kind of support you need is going to be a heavy one. But we are going to see what we can do for you. That is my assurance, eh? So, in fact, this is all I have to say. So, just tell the viewers bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. All right. Thank you very much, man. Okay, you can hug me now. Is that okay? Don't think too much. Eh? Everything is going to be fine. Wait, wait, wait. Like that, <laughs> yeah, giving, she's giving us watermelon. Wow. God bless you so much. You can see Christian is even crying. Bro, why are you crying? Story is touching. Oh, my God.